Welcome back to Fast Market. I'm Tom White, joined by my co-host Kevin Hinks. But let's bring in our next guest for our cash tag segment, and that's going to be Andy Swan, the co-founder of Like Folio. Thanks for joining us today, Andy. Happy Friday. Happy Friday is right. This has been a long week. Um, <laughs> now you sent us over a, a different kind of name, maybe an overlooked stock by uh, you know in. in the thought process of a lot of traders and investors out there. FVRR is a ticker symbol Fiverr. I did do a little bit of research on this overlook stock, Andy, a little bit, but this is all about freelancing. And it seems like, uh, you know, workers want that ability to work from home, work from anywhere. And this is right in their, uh, you know, up their alley where, hey, freelancers that can do things for your business, here's a spot to do that. Now, they've got some competition in here. But what, are, what kind of data are you seeing in Fiverr? Because the stock's down about 50% so far this year. Yeah, that's uh, that's the kind of story I really like. It's when, when a stock is down uh, quite a bit, but has a significant tailwind and is doing well in its sector. And the tailwind that we're talking about in this situation is freelance work, like you alluded to. The real key here is that it, it isn't just in demand by the, by the worker, uh, you know, the service provider. But also by employers, as as companies go more and more remote, the difference between uh, someone that they hire full time and someone that someone that they hire as a freelancer starts to diminish because neither one of those people is in the office on a regular basis uh, anyway. And so, uh, what we see is demand year over year for both of these categories, both the supply and demand side uh, for wanting uh, freelance work is still on the move higher uh, despite you know what many thought was pull forward demand uh, during the height of the pandemic so this is one of those unlike you know possibly Netflix unlike um, Peloton uh, where the demand wasn't just purely pulled forward it actually changed the way people do their job and go about their day and live their life and so uh, when we dig into this freelancing space, there's there's two companies that really stand out to us. Uh, Fiverr is one of those, uh, a ticker symbol FVRR, but also Upwork, ticker symbol UPWK, both showing really strong levels uh, of year-over-year -year growth, and both sh and both showing uh, really high levels of consumer happiness on both sides of of the marketplace that they have, both the supply side, uh, those who hire the the workers. And the or the and the uh, demand side, where they hire the workers, and the supply side, uh, the workers themselves. Everybody seems to like these arrangements, and so we get that nice little um, area where that top right of that grid uh, is where we want to see companies in both Fiverr and Upwork are in there with a really nice tailwind of that uh, of that freelancer economy continuing to grow uh, as people shift towards more remote and hybrid work. Andy, clearly this was a pandemic pull forward as this stock went from the 17 level to 336 on my three-year chart. And it's come back down, as you might think, but here's the thing, Andy, it's settled back in the mid-50s, which is still more than three times what it was. Okay. I looked on the on the Thinkorswim platform. They've made money six out of the last seven quarters. There's only one that that they haven't been profitable in terms of earnings per share. You know, you, you mentioned that they hook up freelancers with companies. Is this, now, we all have to, we're all watching in, in real time the DocuSigns and all these companies that have come down so significantly. When does this name get to a level or do you think it's there now where people start paying attention to it? Because it was, pre-pandemic it was, I see 17 bucks or, or you know, yeah. in the in the probably the low 20s. So it's still a big winner. It just doesn't look that way in a long term chart. Yeah, that's right. I, I do think it's worth paying attention to now, um, because like I said, anytime we see a stock where we see we, we at like folio see uh, those macro trends as a tailwind combined with. Um, you know, really high uh, demand increases for the, the specific company's products and and happiness levels. That's a really winning formula, and especially when the stock has pulled back as much as it has. It's kind of like these are some of the stocks, Upwork and Fiverr, I believe, that have been 
the babies thrown out with the tech and, and uh, COVID play bathwater that I think investors would be wise to start looking at because like you said, profitable companies uh, that have uh, significant significant tailwinds and are doing really well by both both sides of their marketplace, the seller and the buyer. Yeah, Andy, uh, the margins that they reported last quarter over 82% uh, at this po point, industry leading take rate of about 29.2%. Uh, but one of the things that stuck out to me was the total addressable market here for freelancers. Right now, it's based about, uh, what, $3.4 billion. It's supposed to, uh, by uh, one of the metrics by Global Newswire, go up to about $9.2 billion by 2026. That's 15% compounded annual growth rate. That's pretty big as far as a, a total addressable market. You've got Upstart, you've got Fiverr, you've got LinkedIn in there also, and Freelancer.com. Is that what provides the growth for this company? Because those are pretty decent margins moving forward. And this seems like an area uh, for workers and for the businesses alike that this is going to continue to expand. Yeah, I, I see no stopping to this continuing to expand. It was one of those things where you had to kind of get through COVID to understand what the, quote, new normal would be. I think we're starting to see really clear signs of what that is, and that is a much more hybrid, much more remote workforce, and uh, you know where people are valuing their time perhaps more so uh, than their specific career path, and freelancing uh, allows a lot of people to stay engaged, uh, make some money, but also control their own schedule, which I think uh, has become really attractive to people over the last couple of years. So I, I agree with those. I, I think the 15% annualized growth rate uh, may be understating it by a considerable amount. And if that's true, then uh, the two leaders, Upwork and Fiverr, I think have very significant upside from here. Yeah, so we've got earnings in a couple of weeks, Andy. Uh, so if it was earnings tomorrow or Monday, what would be like uh, your score as far as uh, sentiment data? Uh, yeah, pretty bullish uh, on both. We think they're b both going to turn in uh, good quarters. Now, sometimes in an environment like this, uh, it doesn't matter what quarter you turn in. If uh, if you're tech, they might be selling anyway. But uh, you know, long term, really like both of these names. All right, good stuff as always, Andy. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You too. All right, that's Andy Swan, the co-founder of LikeFolio.com, breaking down the freelance trade in Upwork and uh, also Fiverr here. So, Kevin.